Addressing journalists at his home in Kasangat on Friday, the opposition strongman said he had been approached on several occasions by members of the Interreligious Council and Elders Forum, even while still in Luzira prison, but said no conclusion had ever been reached on on the issue of the national dialogue as is being portrayed. On ahead and um, um, started a process of dialogue for which they have set up a secretariat according to their announcement, set up a secretariat and uh, started, uh, you know, a process of convening uh, a dialogue. Um, certainly it was not um, a process to which we have been parting the way that it came out. Best just stressed that the issue of the national dialogue must be handled with care and should not be a political affair, but rather one that brings together all stakeholders in the country, religions inclusive. According to BSG, there is need to look at the problems that are facing the country since independence. He says it should not be about partisan politics between the ruling NRM against the opposition, but rather justice on one side against injustice on the other side. Who convenes and who moderates the structure of the dialogue? Who convenes, who moderates? Again, that there must be a mutual agreement, not somebody uh, coming up and saying, I'm now the convener and I'm be the moderator. No, there must be a mutual agreement. Thirdly, that there would need to be an agreement on who is part of the dialogue. Because again, as you know, there are all kinds of... Uh, briefcase organizations which tend to turn up whenever there is an opportunity to have some kind of a political discussion. This is uh, what happened in Moshi in uh, 1979. We would like before any dialogue to have an agreement on who is legitimately on the table. He said there ought to be an audit of the elections as part of the agenda for the national dialogue. Uh, to have a clear understanding of how the decisions of such a dialogue will be implemented. How to guarantee the implementation of the decisions of the dialogue. Because again, as I'm sure you know, All agreements, political agreements that have taken place before, we are not, uh, the, the decisions of those agreements were not implemented. So you go through a lot of rigors to uh, dialogue, to agree on what needs to be done, but once you have agreed and appended the signatures on what should be done, it's not done. The opposition strongman also said there is need to streamline how the decisions of the dialogue will be implemented and that it should not be a mere meeting and photo opportunity like before, but meaningful engagement with tangible outcomes. It's not something that um, I think one gets up and says, now I'm going to organize this. It's not uh, like the, the, the presidential debate where you invite candidates to come and... Uh, and debate. This is a far more complex, uh, far more um, uh, serious uh, issue uh, that um, a lot of groundwork must be undertaken before a dialogue takes place. Certainly the earlier we get a national dialogue, the better for the country in a, a properly structured national dialogue. We cannot, the, our country cannot afford to have them being neutral in the matter that is central to that discussion. Because the challenge of our country today is not partisan, 
It's not partisan politics. It's not FDC vis-a-vis -vis NRM. It's not uh, DP versus NRM or versus FDC. The challenge of our country today is simply injustice vis-a-vis -vis justice. Those who are fighting for justice and those who want to perpetuate injustice. That is the contradiction that is in the country today.